about you know everybody from uh, across the country that like to flock down to Atlanta you know they think they're they're oh so good in their own town but when they go to ATL it seems like they become average okay perfect example this is called for your audience say this is called her Shaniqua right right Shaniqua is light skinned bow leg got a nice little butt hair hanging down her all the way to her eyes green eyes everybody thinks she's a dime and then you got uh, Laquita, who, you know, brown skin and, you know, get a little money, got a little flavor, got a little, you know, curves and stuff. And, you know, I mean, everybody's sweater, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you got, say, for the sake of record, you got Pam, you know, who's, you know, she about an eight. She ain't no nine or a nine, but she's an eight. She good, you know. And, you know, her teeth, her teeth is white, you know what I'm saying? Her skin is pure. She cute, you know what I'm saying? She all right. But then she go to Atlanta. All three of them go to Atlanta. They come here as eight nines and dies, and then they find out they ain't really done but a five. You know, and there's so many beautiful women down here. And there's so many nice looking guys down here that people come out there thinking they just they the smack up there with it. And then they get to Atlanta, they get hit with a true reality. There's a lot of broken dreams down here. There's a lot of people come down here. There's a lot of women come down here. They thought that you know because they was the you know what they was in their hometown, that they was going to be the same thing pop in Atlanta. But then they get here, they find out it's a thousand light-skinned girls. It's a million pretty brown-skinned girls. It's a bunch of tall dudes, you know, with muscles. It's a bunch of short dudes with nothing, you know what I'm saying? And then they get here, and you're know, like, uh, like a lot of guys, they come here, they go to Magic City, and they got, they say, I'm going to throw two bands. And then Jeezy come in there and throw 40 bands, you know, <laughs> and, and it'll break your heart. Hmm. You know, or, or, or you come in, you got a cold body, and you walk in the club, and you like, girl, I'm finna kill him. And you been the girl that's in the club. Shit, Nick would have been the girl in the club that was killing him in Minnesota, in Milwaukee, in Iowa, and in Nebraska, you know, and she just, everybody, want, all the dudes want her, and then she get in the club, and she see a bunch of girls look like her, or better. And then she get discouraged, you know, and then what happens is they become... They go from being, you know, eight, nines, and nines to being regular Deglins. Mm-hmm. You know, so an uh, eight, nine, and nine that may be in Minnesota, here could be a regular Degler. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that's the irony of all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that, you know, a lot of people come down here, they come down here on vacation, you know what I'm saying, being end up on probation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's just it's a whole other monster in a whole other world. You know, you have to be fast. You know, me, when I came down to Atlanta, I knew exactly the territory. I've been here before. I know how to get down. And one thing about Atlanta, when you come here, you got to check in. What I mean by you got to check in, you got to get with the people that's the movers and shakers, and you get on their program. And then if you get on all of their programs, then you got a bigger program. You know, I'm going to mess with everybody that's popping. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's doing something, I'm going to, you know, bow down to them. And then when I get to bow down to it, they get to endorsing me. Next thing you know, like, you know, it always happened. You know, I'm going to be the man because they're going to make me the man. They're going to give me that approval. You know, these sisters, when they come down here, you know, don't just come down here thinking that you can get all on your looks. You know what I'm saying? Because the looks may not be going to get a hook. Because there's a bunch of women that's ugly as the day to ugly people. You know what I'm saying? But they got Rolls Royces. They got Phantoms. They got big old cribs. And the dudes down here, you know, they try to survive, too, because it's hard to survive down here because it's, it's so congested. You know, they end up going with them girls that got the money. So, you know, I mean, it's, and then, you know, there's some dudes down here, man, I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. There's dudes down here, man, that you know some straight bums. I mean, I ain't got nothing going on working at Wendy's. They got four or five girls we would consider cutie pies and dogging them. And they accepted it. They're like, you know, I just love him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? You know, this, this, 
It's both, but you know what I'm saying? The bums is winning down here because the women is so plentiful. You know, it's 50 women to one man. So, you know, these women, they get down here and they, they become minimized. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't be as valued as they is in those small towns. You know, so you say, where you from? Oh, I'm from Iowa. You know, and I say, look at it, another broken dream. Somebody, you know, you see a dude down here, you know, he come down here, he down here, first time you see him, you know, he dressing nice and, you know, he got a little box Chevy and, you know, he got a little, he, he, you know, you see him a couple weeks later, and you see, like, he, he broken hearted. He got a broken dream because he see, you know, little kids, 16, 17, you know, grind for robberies. Mm. Man, they be talking, talking about a Lamborghini, it's about a hundred Lamborghini chips down here. It's a hundred, but Rolls Royce, so everybody, you know, went it down here. You know, it's a lot of people. It's four million people that moved to the city in the last year. So Atlanta, you know, you can come down here and cutie buy. You know what I'm saying? But you might be, or oh, eight, nine, 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 you might leave a five, or maybe even a four. You know, you might leave a zero, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure that when you come, you know what I'm saying? We expect, you know, to see there's a bunch of people trying to do the same thing you try to do. And remember when I said, you can be great, but the only way you're going to beat these people and you have greatness, you got to be three seconds faster than the person. My book, The Art of Human Chess, is a bestseller, New York best time seller. This book here sold millions, sold all over the world, all throughout the prison system. This is the book, The 48 Laws of Game, Pepology. Make sure you get these books. If you can't, if you don't want to buy the hardcover, if you don't want to buy the paperback, then the best thing to do is go to iTunes on your cell phone and type in my name, Pippin Ken, and I guarantee you the book will pop up. That don't work, go to audiobook.com, type in my name. That don't work, go to Amazon.com, type in my name. Anywhere books are sold all over the country, you can get my books. These are my best-selling books. You hear people talk about them all the time on Instagram, on Snapchat. These are definitely some good reads. Please get my book. And I guarantee you that you would never be the same. Your life would be impacted, and also your life would be enhanced just by getting these two books, The Art of Human Chess and The 48 Laws of Game, just like The 48 Laws of Power, just like The Art of War. Four, Four seven. seven.